We are gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words that will unite William Andrew Sikansky and Erin Marie Spencer in holy matrimony. Aaron, I can't believe that we're finally standing up here next to each other after five long years. I can still remember when I first came across your picture and I thought, this girl's surfing, she's pretty hot. <laughs> Maybe she's also pretty interesting and cool too. Lucky for me, the picture that I put up of me reading in a park was enough to spark your interest. <laughs> Drew, thank you for choosing me. Our love isn't perfect, but we have loved each other through five years of long distance, long drives, specifically you, <laughs> changing jobs and moving in together. We have endured a lot of uncertainty, but you were always certain that we were meant to be. You taught me patience and I taught you how to call your family back. <laughs> You talk me through my insecurities and my self-doubt. My family always jokes that not everyone can handle me, but they seriously mean it when they talk about how much you have changed me. Drew, I cannot imagine somebody better equipped to handle Aaron. You are so patient. You are so loving. Every time Erin calls me with a problem, she's like, oh, that's what Drew told me too. So I'm happy that we're on each other's team. On and on and on. Cause as long as we keep dancing, we'll stay young at heart. And every time I hold you in my arms, you give me deja vu. I've been waiting my whole life to find that you Cause when I'm looking at your eyes I go from California to Denmark to Back to dancing in the living room If I got you Baby, every day's a honeymoon Even after I texted you for the first time and said a pretty simple message of Hey, is that you surfing? And kind of sarcastic and mean when you said no and then said of course it is who else would it be for some reason I was still intrigued by you and kept texting you and then FaceTiming you and finally even did something crazier and went way outside my comfort zone and drove two hours to meet you on a Sunday the Patriots were playing in a late game that was nationally televised which pretty much speaks to our entire relationship of you always pushing me to do things I'm uncomfortable with, to grow and change, and me always pushing you to watch more sports. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the coolest thing that happened today other than the wedding. Was one of the biggest bets Drew's heard about in his lifetime. The Patriots covered 40 point bet. Only on their wedding day. So how cool is that? I vow to continue to grow and change with you, to be your supporter, your best friend, your secret keeper, as long as you preface it with, don't tell and I mean it. <laughs> I vow to continue to support your interests and nourish your passions. From your sport podcast, to the Patriots, the Celtics, the Red Sox, <laughs> and even including, but not limited to, all fantasy leagues. <laughs> I vow to remain loyal to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. 
I vow to continue to challenge you as you challenge me spiritually. And I vow to continue to ask questions about our faith together. I vow to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously, but most of all, to laugh with you through this life because you and I have the most fun when we're laughing together. Baby, every day's a honeymoon. If you'll indulge me a little bit, I want to talk about just how much Aaron means to me and how we became friends. The reason we became friends is because Aaron wrote an essay in fourth grade talking about how amazing I am. As you can imagine, growing up with Erin Spencer, she is the most beautiful, most athletic, most intelligent, and sweetest person. If you know Erin, you know that she loves so deeply. So when she called me and told me about Drew, I could tell this one was a lot different. After years of me driving back and forth two hours to Charleston and then 10 hours from Myrtle Beach to Nashville and quitting my job and moving here with all those challenges that we faced, we made this relationship work and I'm so happy that we did. I vow to do everything that I can going forward to continue to push you and let you push me and work to make our dreams come true. I also vow to love you and support you and be patient with you to continue to take adventures and experience new and wonderful things together. I vow to eat pizza with you at least once a week, to watch trashy reality TV shows, to let you dance as much as you want without judging, and to always answer the phone when you call or at least when I see that you called. I vow to be there with you through the good times and the bad, to cherish all the small moments we have together and the big, to love you even when you're mad at me and when I'm mad at you, and to always continue to grow together. I vow to remain by your side as we grow old, to raising kids into adults, and even until the day you can't run 10 miles every day anymore. Drew, you are not only the most supportive husband I could ever ask for, but you've changed me for the better. I love you wholeheartedly, and I can't wait to spend several thousands of more Sundays together with you as husband and wife. By the power of God, I now pronounce you Dr. and Dr. William Andrew Sikansky.